first component of your syllabus is look carefully what they have given linkage between linkages between development and spread of extremism and spread of extremism development and spread of extremism what is the link that is the first component that they are asking the second component of syllabus is role of external state actors and and how you have to read the syllabus role of external state actors and role of external non state actors that is the syllabus okay role of external state actors and the role of external non state actors non state actors what is their role in creating challenges to that is what they have given in creating challenges to internal security role of external state actors role of external non state actors in creating challenges to internal security that is the second component of your syllabus what is the third component to look at here challenges to internal security through the what communication networks challenges to internal security through the communication networks next is so challenges to internal security through communication networks this is the first component of it the second component of it is role of media and social media role of media and social media social networking sites okay role of media and social networking sites in creating challenges to internal security role of media and social networking sites in creating challenges to internal security what is the third component of your syllabus basics of cyber security basics of cyber security these are the three things under that right next one is money laundering that you are studying pmla act money laundering and its prevention money laundering and its prevention next is security challenges areas security challenges and their management in border areas next one is linkages of organized crime with terrorism linkages of organized crime with terrorism linkages of organized crime and its terrorism next one various security forces various security forces and agencies and their mandate their mandate now look at how they have given the syllabus linkages between development and spread of extremism linkages between development and spread of extremism see this is a component of gs paper 3 i said this gs paper 3 in gs paper 3 you have first component as what is the first module in gs paper 3 indian economy indian economy second is second is science and technology third is environment and disaster management now look at this and the second paper is about polity and governance now in your economic development in your economic development if that is not there or if that is not inclusive of all sections that is going to give rise to inequalities and inequalities is going to breed 
revolution that is what i said if only few people are becoming rich if other people are not becoming rich then those who are feeling uh, 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 downtrodden at one day they are going to revolt on the persons who are having uh, uh, rich things right on the persons who are uh, controlling everything so they are saying that all the above subjects that you have studied so far if it is not turning out to be a development if that development is not going to happen then it is going to lead to extremism this is how they linked inside the topic so they starts here linkages between development and spread of extremism now they are saying internal security look at the syllabus internal security security inside your country how to protect your country right whenever you are securing internally internally means you have to secure your borders first your this is not just the nation it is also nation doesn't just means borders it is also making about the nationals or the citizens దేశం అంటే మట్టి కాదు దేశం అంటే మనుషులు అయి మట్టిని మాత్రమే ప్రొటెక్ట్ చేయడం కాదు మనుషుల్ని కూడా ప్రొటెక్ట్ చేయాలి ఇంటర్నల్ సెక్యూరిటీ హ్యాస్ టూ కాంపోనెంట్స్ యూ యూ హ్యావ్ టు ప్రొటెక్ట్ ద నేషన్ యూ షుడ్ ప్రొటెక్ట్ ద సిటిజన్స్ ఇన్ ద నేషన్ రైట్ ఇంటర్నల్ సెక్యూరిటీ ఇంక్లూడ్స్ బోత్ నౌ నేషనల్స్ ఆర్ సిటిజన్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎ కంట్రీ కెన్ బి ఇన్సైడ్ యువర్ కంట్రీ దే కెన్ బి అవుట్సైడ్ యువర్ కంట్రీ దెర్ విల్ బి గోయింగ్ టు వర్క్ అవుట్సైడ్ so given protecting them who are present outside like indian diaspora is also a part of indian security are you understanding so internal security means not just securing your land not just securing your people but securing the outside people or securing indian citizens who are located in foreign lands also right this is what internal security theme is now in order to have the security the first one is first you should have development and if there is no development then that is going to give rise to extremism what is that extremism that we will see the second thing is in order to understand threat to internal security i am saying that you have to give protection or internal security security is nothing but protection you have to protect the land you have to protect the citizens if you want to protect first what you have to understand is you have to understand what are the threats edo aapad unte aapad nunchi samrakshinchal ante samrakshana samrakshana ane santnam rakshinchali ane sanni security antnam rakshinchali ante den nunchi from what you have to give protection that you have to understand you have to protect your land from state actors and non state actors challenges to internal security from state actors or non state actors we have to study what is a state actor what is a state actor state the term state whenever you look at the term state anywhere state is the legitimate authority legitimate authority state is a legitimate authority 